Hi and welcome back to Doc Off Call. My name's Maddie, your doctor from the UK. Welcome back to another video uh, where today we're going to be doing a Christmas special on Dr. Stone. So I hope you're all well and you've been able to get involved in some of the festivities of the year. Um, I know this year's really sucked having coronavirus around. It's almost like it's a uh, it's a stand from like the JoJo uh, anime series. But on the bright side, we've got Doctor Stone season two coming early in January 2021, as well as a whole load of other great anime shows. So in today's video, we're going to be watching episode 21, the episode where Senko's going to be creating both batteries and light bulbs in his Spartan craft club. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the significance of both electricity and batteries uh, in modern medicine and how without them, modern medical treatments wouldn't be the same. But before we go any further, I don't want to miss out on that awesome soundtrack at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> So let us know down below, do you think this soundtrack is better than that one of the uh, the first couple of episodes? So yeah, other than the obvious advantages of having electricity to reduce manpower in manufacturing of things, what are the other advantages of having electricity in medicine? So many of our internal bodily functions involve electricity, whether that's from movement of skeletal muscle through to contraction of the heart. And modern medicine understanding this looked to utilise electricity in forming treatments for when these bodily functions go wrong. So to name a few, you have things like cardiac pacemakers or implantable cardiac defibrillators, which are used in patients who have difficulty with regulating either the rate or the rhythm of the heart, or if the heart happens to have a tendency to stop on them, um, it can sort of kickstart their, their heart back into beating. And these are devices that are surgically implanted um, into the chest with leads going into the heart to deliver electric shocks as and when needed. <laughs> and I can see here that uh, Senko has refined his glasses making from um, the last video uh, that I put out at least. Uh, and these look uh, a bit more stylish, I don't know. I, I, how do you think those would look like on me? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's casually just holding these two ends of live wires when he could easily just electrocute himself there. Um, and I mean, this can actually be a treatment for some patients if you're applying the correct voltage to the correct location on the body. And I guess what I'm getting at here is the invention of a defibrillator. So. You know, a defibrillator um, delivers a set voltage of electricity to the heart when placed on the correct play, uh, areas on the body. Now, don't worry too much about what voltage needs to be applied because most defibrillators nowadays are automatic and they have preset values. Um, but the, the important thing to make sure of is that when you're delivering a charge that you're not touching the patient, otherwise some of that electrical charge could come back into your body and send your heart off into an abnormal rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I love how whenever he decides to make a, uh, a new invention that uh, his, his voice deepens and he kind of puts on this smile um, as if he's going to be mischievous. Uh, it kind of reminds me of when I was, uh, when I was a kid and uh, if I saw something around the house that I thought, here I can make something out of that, uh, you know, I would, often, I would often feel that way, kind of excited. 
uh, you know, examples like uh, getting a plastic bottle and turning it into a submarine that I would play with in the bath. Um, yeah, it's really captured that sort of childish sort of excitement around inventing, hasn't it? Wow, and isn't that just awesome, you know, he makes it look so simple to create batteries and, you know, once you have batteries, your life can become so much easier, can't it? Um, I guess the only thing he needs to focus on now is uh, miniaturizing these batteries so that he, you know he can he can use them for uh, a lot of different future inventions. <laughs> and like I was saying before, if you play with live wires, there's a potential that you're going to get burnt. And uh, I would probably say these wires would be comparable to something like a taser. Um, and tasers are no joke, you know, they can uh, really cause some harm to patients, uh, particularly those who are, who are vulnerable and have things like pacemakers in already. I would, I would, you know, I would worry if they received sort of a tase. But to any person, they can cause sort of localized irritation to the skin, causing skin burns. And you get this characteristic prong mark where people have been tased. And it's really nasty. It can leave permanent scarring. Sparta Kosaku Club, what are you doing next? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Isn't that just awesome? You know, they're teaching us how to make light bulbs. And this is the thing. We don't know that we're actually learning all this stuff. We're just watching it for entertainment. Um, but I tell you what, you know, if I was ever petrified or turned to stone uh, and I came round, I would hope that uh, either I would have the Dr. Stone manga available uh, or, you know, a DVD if I had a working DVD player. But actually, probably the manga's best because electricity might not be around if that happened. Um, but you know what, they should start creating sort of textbooks for Dr. Stone for teaching it in schools because, you know, this is really fun to learn about. まったく。60年この村で <laughs> So two things here that I think need need addressing. Firstly, how is this guy so ripped? You know, I don't know how old he is, but to have those muscles at that age is uh, is is pretty impressive. And the second thing is um, having Senko around in the Doctor Stone anime has really been um, a real joy to watch and experience and relearn. And it's been great to connect with people on the channel as well who also love this. Uh, anime and who've shared their stories and their, their sort of feelings towards it. I just can't wait for season two to come out. Oh, just seeing snow like that with them all coming out, doesn't it just sort of make you feel festive and, uh, and all Christmassy? Um, and you know, just the, the authors of this anime, they're doing a fantastic job. Isn't that fantastic? So Dr. Stone celebrating Christmas and just in time for us all as well. Uh, and so we should be, you know, we've had a really tough year. Um, and that's another thing. I think the heart of this anime is in the right place. There are so many episodes that you can relate to um, and they, they really um, do work with the emotional connection that people have with some of the things that the characters are going through. Uh, and that's why I love it and I can't wait for season two to see what they're going to do next. Um, but here I'm really feeling the magical experience of Christmas. Oh, 
Okay, so thank you for watching today. So what we've covered is how electricity is involved in some of our bodily functions and how medicine has helped utilize electricity and batteries um, to help treat some of those bodily functions when they go wrong. And it's important for me to say that this area of medicine is a really exciting and expanding field. There's lots of biotech companies out there who are constantly pushing the boundaries, trying to invent the next best uh, treatments for us. And, uh, you know, I think it's just fantastic and exciting to see what, what might be on the horizon. So now at the end of the video, I just want to take a few moments to say a really big thank you to all my viewers and my supporters out there. Um, thank you for your generous and encouraging comments down below. It's really helped, um, particularly with the stresses in working as a doctor. Um, this, this whole year has felt pretty bad and pretty stressful. Um, and at times it's been quite isolating, you know, not been able to mix with my friends or do the things that I've wanted. But having a community of people out there that I could interact with and share something as great as this anime has been, has been a great help. So I want to thank you all for, for, for giving me that gift of friendship over this time. And hopefully going into 2021, things are going to be uh, a little better. Um, so I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year on the way and you can bet 1 billion percent that there's going to be more videos back with uh, Dr. Stone in Season 2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.